Plastic waste is a huge problem. You probably already know that. It's tough to miss in today's media. With wildlife being impacted from oceanic dumping, to waste in the Americas, the impact is undeniable. Modern convenience has become gravely inconvenient. Plastic waste doesn't end when plastic use ends. Diamonds may be forever, but so is plastic. So what are we going to do about it? Let's meet our team members, each who is dedicated to creating a long-term solution to the plastic problem. Founded and maintained by Garrett and Jonathan Beekman, Full Circle Plastics, based in Lethbridge, Canada, designs and produces recycled plastic solutions to meet consumer demands. In 2018, Kurt Almy patented the fence claw. Subsequently, Cat's Claw Fasteners of Ismay, Montana was born. The company is primarily maintained by Kurt and his daughter Toby Jean. PV Industries, represented by PV Mart, is a 100% Canadian owned farm and ranch retailer. PV works to supply sustainability solutions to all agricultural customers, from urban farmers to traditional ranchers. The journey of plastic from waste to a valuable product begins here. In Canada, we produce over 3 million tons of waste plastic annually. Out of that, only 10% gets recycled. Municipal recycling programs, not-for-profits, and private businesses collect these plastics. They're then sorted, shredded, and ground up by DBS Environmental, several municipalities, and several other businesses. then brought over to our facility. Full Circle Plastics began four years ago to create value out of low to no value plastics seen as waste. In 2018, China closed the door on the majority of recycled plastics. That, coupled with the lowering prices on virgin resin, caused the value of recycled plastic market to plummet. Although there is still a market for some higher value recycled plastics, which get washed and processed into repro resin, others like this flake are accessible to us as ingredients for our end products. Once the plastic reaches Full Circle Plastics facility, it is then batch mixed to the specifications that our different product lines require. Our process allows us to get most of the moisture out of the granulated plastics. Once mixing and drying are complete, the mixed plastics are ready for the next step in the process. We use three different extruders in our facility, each set up to do specific products. Extruders take the plastic flake to plastic mill. The 
The extruders not only melt the plastic, but also fill the molds. Each extruder is fitted with up to 16 molds, which rotate through a cooling tank. Once cooled, we demold the product. Canada's annual plastic footprint is 3 million tons. Divide this by about 37 million people and we get the average plastic footprint per Canadian of 80 kilograms. This includes all agricultural plastics, industrial, commercial and residential plastics. So 80 kgs of plastic, what does that look like? Well, it's equal to 13,360 grocery bags or 1,328 milk jugs or six four inch by seven foot fence posts. Over the last four years, Full Circle Plastics has diverted over three million kilograms of low to no value plastics into high value products. This year alone, we will manufacture close to two million kilograms. And over the next three years, we hope to get to over five million kilograms annually. Our recycled plastic fence post, coupled with our partnership with PV Industries and Cat's Claw Fasteners, will help us get to those numbers. When we first started doing business with PV Industries, we knew that it was a great fit. PV Industries has over 200 locations across Canada, but hasn't lost sight of the feel of a hometown store. In the process of meeting our customers and finding out their needs, we got introduced to the Cat's Claw Fastener. We took a trip to Montana and met Kurt, the inventor. We found out how a simple twist on an old fencing staple could take our product even further. Kurt is here with us in Lethbridge to explore how these posts are made. But first, let's learn more about the Cat's Claw Fastener. Kurt is here. He came to Lethbridge to explore about how the fence posts are made. But first, let's learn a little more about Cat's Claw. Common fencing staple is pretty simple. It's just a bent piece of metal that's used to secure the wire to the fence post. The Cat's Claw is a new and improved fencing staple. It's much faster to install. It holds four times better than the conventional staple. It's easier to reuse. It lasts a long, long time. And frankly, you don't mash your fingers near as often as you did back with the hammer. The Cat's Claw was invented because I was tired of replacing staples on the fence line. You see, the most expensive part of replacing that staple is the time that the cowboy spends doing it. There's two types of fencing staples that I've found. Those that have fallen out of the fence posts and those that are about to. I knew there had to be a better way and that's where the idea for the Cat's Claw came from. Cat's Claw is a Montana-based, Montana-owned company. We are situated in the shop of the historic 1914 George Ranch, about an hour from our Miles City office. More recently, Cat's Claw has been working with the state of Montana to improve statewide fencing projects. In the process of improving fence lines, Cat's Claw is additionally encouraging Montana to become a leading representative in plastic recycling by advocating use of Full Circle Plastics recycled products across various industry projects. Full Circle Plastics has been a great partner as Cat's Claw approaches new and exciting projects. Now that you've heard the Cat's Claw story, let's talk about the Cat's Claw Fastener. Cat's Claw Fasteners work really good anytime you need to attach wires to a fence post, whether it happens to be a wood fence post or a plastic fence post. We can use barbed wire. We can use number nine smooth wire. We can use chicken wire. We can use a cattle panel. We've even used rope. We've even hung up Christmas lights with it. Cat's Claw staples are designed to let the wire breathe. Let me show you. When the teeth just engage into the wood, it's designed to let this wire move back and forth so it doesn't pin the wire to the post. The screw is a number 10 screw 
that is designed to hold metal onto the roof. The original cat's claw fasteners come in two sizes. There's the two inch screw and there's the inch and a half. The two inch screw is for soft woods like pine. The inch and a half screw is for hard woods like hedge, like bodock, and like plastic posts. Even though cat's claw is just a small step in the recycled fence post mission, it is a huge leap forward in fence line quality. The positive impact that recycled plastic fence posts can create is caused by people knowing what products are available, how they are used, and where they can be purchased. As you saw with the breakoff test, the recycled plastic fence post is at least 50% stronger than the comparable wooden post. Now let's talk about how to attach wire to the post. Driving a traditional staple into a recycled plastic post is darn near impossible. It was very quick and easy using the cat's claw staple. The main quality that we dislike about plastic is it never rots. However, the thing that we like about recycled plastic fence posts is it never rots. They don't leach, they don't rust, they don't rot. And a plastic post acts as an insulator if you're inclined to use electric fence. We needed to know how the recycled plastic posts were gonna perform in a prairie fire condition. So, the folks at Full Circle Plastic took plastic posts and they took wooden posts, put them all together, and set them on fire. Well, what they found out is after the wooden posts had completely burned up, the recycled plastic posts were still there. They smoldered, but they never really caught a fire. After they were done with that part of it, they took the plastic posts and drove them in the ground with a pounder just to prove themselves that the post was still solid. I wouldn't exactly call the recycled plastic post fireproof, but it certainly is fire resistant. The ultimate benefit is that we're removing plastic from the landfills in a meaningful way. If we put up one mile of fence using recycled plastic fence posts, we effectively take five tons of plastic out of the landfill. Additionally, you've built a very, very durable fence that's gonna last for a long, long time. Now that's what I call a win-win situation. Let's talk pricing. In the last 12 months since we started this documentary, there's been a whole lot of significant changes in our world. The main event, obviously, was the COVID plague that shut everything down. Along the way, the prices have moved for steel and for wood in a significant manner. In general, the prices for wood have raised about 12%. And at the same time, the prices for the recycled plastic raised about 2%. I'd suggest if you're thinking about trying to decide whether to use wood posts or plastic posts that you go to your retailer and check for current pricing. The recycled plastic posts are very competitive price-wise, but I can't tell you what it's going to be in your place until you go check with your retailer. For Canadian friends, go to PB Mark in the United States to find out for more information. Go to our website at catsclawfasteners.com.
Plastic is here to stay and how we manage it is up to us. We've heard reduce, reuse, recycle for a long, long time. The truth is, buying and using recycled plastic products is absolutely key to managing the problem plastic in a sustainable fashion. When you support organizations like PV Mart, Full Circle Plastic, Cat's Claw, who in turn support the recycling mission, you are making a sustainable difference. Please, join our mission today, purchase recycled plastic.